We're going to get a reading right here on the air. Matt Fraser is going to pick one of our audience members and read up on them. Don't I go anywhere. I think you have to talk to us. Yeah. Us? Uh-huh. All right, back with internationally known psychic Matt Frazier, and we're giving away four tickets to see him at Foxwood. You're coming on March 23rd, about 250 people, so it'll still be an intimate experience. Um, and the way you're winning these tickets is be the third emailer and tell us the name of Matt's book that's out now. This talks about how we can develop our own psychic abilities. So tell us the third mail email and mail at bettercct.com. Mail at bettercct.com. Don't send it to Karen and I because we won't get it. Right. All right. In the event, if you don't win, you can always go March 23rd, 4 to 6 p.m. for a reading. So behind the scenes, stuff has already been happening. And so I know you wanted to, uh, we're curious, you, you want to read a little bit on us, but we brought Christina Ranimo up because um, someone came through for her and you, you had her in tears. Absolutely, because you have to remember that this isn't just my job, it's my life. Right. No matter where I go, you know, your loved ones are always there. And what I tell people is that you don't bring your loved ones, I don't bring your loved ones to you, you bring them to me. Mm -hmm. So they're following you around all day, you know, watching over you, protecting you. You know, they're not following the psychic medium. So it's like, you know, when I walk into a place, it's like automatically, you know, fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers all kind of come in trying to pass messages on and let, let you know, their loved ones here know that they are with us. Hmm. So let's talk about Christine. Let's talk about Christine. So I walked in and, you know, she's doing the cooking segment over there and I kind of came running up to her and was telling you about your godmother who passed, mm -hmm. who came through right away saying, like, I'm the godmother, I'm the godmother. It's amazing. I, I'm speechless. I can't even talk about it because I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> now, this is your mother's sister? This is my mother's twin sister. She died of cancer. Uh, she was my godmother. And she was just one of the most important people in my life. Hmm. And she was the reason why I adopted from Ethiopia and also was the inspiration uh, and the drive behind me writing and publishing my book that's coming out. And he... So, Matt, you don't see a... Do you see a physical... Pr what she looked like or you just... You feel a spirit? It's or? like quick bits of information. Like when I had connected with her, I heard in my ear, you know, Godmother whispered to me, told me that she passed of, of cancer, told me, you know, that everybody got to see her before passing because she was bringing back the moments when everybody was with her one by one by one. And that's true. And, and talking to her. And, you know, the fact that she wrote a book about her. She was bringing up information that she knew about her, you know, about what she was doing right now, letting her know that she was around her and watching over her hmm. and that's basically how it is it's just quick bits of information through visions through feelings through you know and like I says any way they can kind of get the message through okay T tell them about the book what you saw oh and the book was like I didn't know if it was like a family book or what exactly it was but she was like on the other side like showed me in heaven like flipping through the pages uh -huh. of this book that she's seen that you put together uh -huh. which is the children's book that you're using as an inspirational story that um, because she inspired you when she was here in this right, world. Right, correct. And yeah. that's basically what they do when they do come through a message is letting you know, you know, that they're thankful for the way that you're remembering them and also that they are with you and supporting you 24-7 and telling her about how proud she was of her of all that she did. So, here's Kara. Well, okay. And there's Scott. You can right. <laughs> We don't get to pick. It's whose relatives are oh, yeah, louder. Yeah, okay, right. and one of the things is like as I came through, like I definitely heard father figure for you so your dad passed. Yeah. So know that he's definitely stepping forward around you, like very protective over you, like on the other side definitely tells me here like to slow down a little bit because you go through life like so fast he keeps telling me here like he sees you like go 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 24 it's funny 24 7 he's saying like just relax relax and he keeps telling me here like you haven't been able to sleep and it's because your mind is going 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 like you're constantly like thinking about things and he tells me here like you're constantly like reading emails or checking your phone or things like that that he's showing me and telling me here like it's okay like just relax like everything's going to be fine and he tells me here you have two children so mm -hmm. you have two children here in this world mm -hmm. okay is it a boy and a girl that you mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. so know that he's around your children here was there a name that was passed on or given? Um, my daughter has his Sandlin as her middle name. Oh my god, because he just told me here like that the name was passed on. So know that that would be your father from the other side saying that he sees this. Kind of like his validation just that he, he knows us here in this world. And I'm also hearing the name John as well. So I'm not sure if there's a John or Jonathan that he would be with on the other side because your dad has like so many people that are around him. It shows me here like that they're all like very loud and like running around with one another and like remembering the times when he was here in this physical world. I was going to say he's world. telling me to slow down. <laughs> but you know, one of the things that he keeps telling me is that he, that he wants you to go out into a 
enjoy life, to, you know, go on vacation, to have fun, to enjoy yourself, because, you know, you're constantly, like, going, 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 going. And he's like, don't move through life quickly. You know, it takes some time to enjoy yourself as well. And he keeps saying here to make sure that you read, because I keep saying, like, he was either an avid reader or loved to read when he was here in this world. It, it helped him to relax. And he's telling me here, like, passing it on to you. And also, like, he keeps showing me here, like, trips by water or going by water with your dad. So, like, I, I think he went to the beach with one another, like, all right. the time. That was his own way, way to relax and kind of just de-stress. So he's bringing it to you as well and saying, Kay, like, if you're ever feeling stressed, you know, to go by the water. And I want to come to you, Scott, really quick, because you also have, like, a loud family on the other side that tell me, here, like, everybody lived together or was with one another. And one of the things that I keep hearing with you is that you have, like, a lot of creative ability that you need to move forward with. And, and um, they keep telling me here that you're very good at communication, in other words, and to, that there's a lot of open doors. I keep seeing, like, you networking or being around people and things like that, and those on the other side stepping forward and, like, um, letting you know they're supporting you and watching over you. There's a military man who steps forward that had passed. Shows me here that he's smoking on the other side. Um, that I would believe is either a grandfather to you or yeah, was this, this your grand? Big smoker, yeah. A military. Ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna run out of time. So know that oh, we have ten seconds. Okay. So know that he's stepping forward. That's uh, that's around you. Tells me here that he either passed of the chest that there's multiple parts of his body that were affected, but comes through to let you know that he's okay and that he's the one that's watching over you from the other side. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll wow. see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, it has to go.